Hey guys, welcome to Parker's Reefs. It's 1am and I'm still up editing videos for you guys, so excuse the uh, baggy eyes, but that's because I'm really excited. Tonight's video is Pet Quarters Glendale, and I've got an exclusive in this video that no one else has seen before, so uh, be sure to keep watching right through to the end. I promise it'll be worth the wait. Okay, here we are at Pet Quarters Glendale. Now this is the longest running Pet Quarters store and if you were quick on the camera there at the start, you would have noticed the original store across the car park there. So technically it's not the longest running because it moved across the car park, but uh, this is one that kind of started um, the, the chain. So it's uh, got a soft spot with the owners and uh, it's got some cool little things inside which we'll get through. But uh, you just come along here, you can see the trading hours. It is open seven days a week and it's also open public holidays as well. So if you're ever looking for uh, pet quarters, uh, supplies or livestock, you know you can get in there and uh, they're going to be open. And again, uh, a familiar sort of theme with these uh, pet quarter stores is just the sheer size of these stores. We've touched on how they're not just aquariums. Uh, the pet quarters team really see this as the way of the future for aquariums and that is to incorporate them into uh, full-blown pet stores. You see they've got this neat little uh, seahorse uh, display tank on there. There's a couple of beautiful yellow seahorses in there. We've got uh, another dry scape there on the tank, on the bench, sorry. And uh, we can see those insect demo uh, setups again. See quite a lot of uh, dog and cat and bird items over to the left and then over to our right, mostly our aquarium stuff. So front and center when you first walk in, they've got a few uh, tanks here set up ready to go. And again, these are all set up uh, with all the equipment and all the stock, so you've got a price on there so you know what you're up for to walk away, which isn't a bad way to do it because I know a lot of people look at the price of a tank and then think, yep, I can afford that. And then uh, you tell them you need to buy sand and rock and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And they soon get talked out of it. So it's a uh, neat little way of showing someone basically the drive away, no more to pay price, which I think is a good approach. Now, another feature that you'll see in each of the pet quarter stores is these uh, dog washers, and they've also got uh, professional dog groomers in, in uh, store. Personally, I think that's a great way to uh, get some uh, brownie points and basically uh, take your dog in to get a, uh, a wash and a clip and uh, spend the time looking at uh, the coral and fish while it's happening. Of course, if you don't want to spend money on coral or fish, you can also pull up a chair in the lounge here and uh, just sit back and enjoy this beautiful display tank. This one here is a lovely red sea tank and you can see those uh, red sea reefer LEDs there. Um, absolutely stunning tank. Still got a little bit of growing out to do here, but it's got some beautiful hammers in there. Um, just a really nice spot to sit and just chill out. Again, whether it's your uh, dog getting its uh, trim or not, it's just a nice place to be. I've just popped the uh, filter on so we can have a look at some of the uh, hammers in here. And uh, you can see there's nothing short of absolute stunners. At this point in the morning, the uh, lights were set to very blue. So I've had to go pretty heavy with the filter so you can see the colors. But um, got an awesome uh, hammer garden at one end and a goni garden at the other end. We've got this little subscape there, which um, looks like they're going to do something pretty special with. So keep an eye on that tank. It's got, uh, a little, it's well, it's well and truly along the way, but um, it's uh, going to be a real stunner in the uh, short term future. So I'll just pop over this way. We go past uh, some of the uh, quantum range of salts there. You can see, yeah, uh, and you've also got some aquaforest salts, aquaforest components, the huge uh, wall of uh, red sea salts. And we've got uh, some little uh, frags and pieces in here. This is one of the uh, reef stock uh, frag tanks, which are all set up there, ready to go. You can see some beautiful salty pets, um, supplied corals in there, and some uh, cheaper pieces too. So just a neat little thing there. I'd like to point out this uh, awesome uh, water fill station where it's uh, nice and clean and uh, makes sense to self-serve. You can also see they've got uh, a, a reading on today's salinity. You see it's probably just a touch low there, but uh, better off telling the customers so they know what uh, they're getting so they can match that up with their tanks at home. In this tank here, we've got uh, up the back some SPS colonies at $40 Australian each, just for our American friends, yeah, 40 bucks. Uh, we've got a big clam there, and then we've got uh, some frags along the front. Some of those there from Sustainable Reef Frags at $50 a piece, which is quite cheap for those frags. They're um, grown inland up in Cairns by a group of uh, awesome guys. So cool to see some of those uh, frags there. Up here, we've got uh, a couple of monster colonies there. We've got uh, some millies, stag, um, some acros, a few bits and pieces, and some uh, wild frags there at super cheap prices from 10 bucks to 20 bucks. 
All right, come over here. We can check out uh, the angels. Looks like we've got king and queen angel in there. We've got the uh, big carpet in there with a couple of clams on there. An extra large Magnifica at uh, $800 Australian. Quite a toxic base on it, so it's really nice uh, Magnifica. And uh, we'll just come across here and have a bit of a look through here. We've got, uh, looks like some bubble tips there with some clowns. Uh, looks like we've got a powder grey or a white cheek, some people call them. Uh, there we've got uh, the Magnificent Fox Face, such a cool fish. I always get them confused with the Fiji Fox Face, but of course the Magnificent's those ones there that are predominantly white. Uh, this guy's pretty cool, he's a Spanish hogfish. Um, they get fairly large, but they're a pretty cool looking little unit. Uh, we've got some tomato clowns in there. Uh, what are we kind of rats we got there? He's a yeah, different looking kind of guy. A little baby blue tang with some, uh, uh, what are they called? Are they dart? They're not dart fish. Oh, they are dart fish. There you go. Oh, good stuff. I uh, got a lipstick tang there. Um, most people that follow my channel will know I absolutely love a lipstick tang, particularly the blonde ones. That tank up there that was a bit clear, uh, a bit uh, foggy, that's a, a hospital tank. Um, which is good to see the guys uh, had some fish come in that they weren't super happy with the um, quality of them So rather than sell them on and push the problem onto you They're putting them through uh, some courses of uh, medication to get them up to top uh, health before uh, selling them to the customer Which is just a nice touch Now while we've still got the filter on check out uh, this uh, little coral bay in the middle here Because we've got um, some favias, some montes, some chalice uh, What do we got there? It looks like a couple of galaxias um, that's some real nice colors on those pieces there. That uh, toxic uh, Favia is pretty cool. Some chalice with some bright eyes. We've got a few Zoa rocks there, some really nice ones. We've got some morphs. Check out that blast over there, 30 bucks. You've got to be kidding me. That thing is trying to uh, break the uh, color of my camera. And again, I did say that I've got a very heavy yellow um, uh, filter on because these lights are basically just pure blue at this point in time. But uh, you just have to take my word for it that Favia was something else. See a nice little uh, bench there where they can test your water with um, some quality equipment. Come around this side and uh, you won't be disappointed if you like a LPS because uh, we've got some crazy scollies there. And I'll just pan out so you can check out this huge MRC uh, skimmer on the system running a uh, big external pump. And uh, look at the bubbles and froth in there. That's a quality unit. And it's cool to see that uh, level of equipment running in the shop. But uh, yeah, let's have a look at some of these uh, scollies, hammers, uh, frog spawns. Um, what have we got there? Some trachophilia, some acans. Look at that beautiful hammer up the back there. Yellow tip. Only $120 Australian. That's an absolute steal. Um, we've got, yeah, all colors of acans available there. Um, look at that little uh, gold guy down there in the front. He's only got a few heads, but uh, that's something special. Very, very nice. And uh, another good assortment of Gonoporia as well. So this this is a huge assortment of corals for for what is essentially a general pet store. This is not a dedicated aquarium, although in a sense it kind of is a dedicated aquarium within a pet store. Let's try and get a little bit of top down and just give that uh, bashy uh, top down view a little bit of a rinse out. Have a look at some of the colors in there. Holy moly. Now, again, I will reiterate these lights are on heavy blues with a very heavy yellow filter, but uh, wow, there's some colors in there at some really good prices. So that's cool to see. So that's uh, the main uh, coral bay there. You can see it's all lit by Elu Magic Blaze lights um, and no shortage of them either. So pretty cool. I'll just pop that filter off. We'll have a quick pan around the rest of the uh, fish room. Uh, you can see we've got uh, a nice plant tank there in the center. And uh, we've got this uh, beta bay, uh, which has all our betas in there. Got a few beautiful guys there. I, I have mentioned that I do love to photograph these fish because um, they're so slow moving and so striking in their colors that uh, it's kind of a perfect storm for a cracking photo. You've got this pretty nifty little uh, freshwater system there with the plant growing out of the middle. And uh, just a quick pan around the rest of the store. Let's have a look at some of the dry goods we've got here. So we've got yet more Red Sea Salt in the bags if you want to go the eco-friendly option. You can see a nice little assortment of handouts there explaining why people may want to go live rock over dry rock, etc, etc. We've got chillers, doses, reactors, algae reactors. We've got a cool uh, little, uh, I'm going to say terrarium, but I'll probably get that wrong. The one where they've got uh, water down the bottom and uh, sort of like plants growing up through a moist area up the top. I'm always really interested by these tanks. I'm certain I'm going to set one up one day. And this is a little unit that uh, powers the mister. These sort of gadgets interest me, so uh, I apologize if they don't interest anyone else. But um, I'll keep on panning around. 
We've got our familiar glass cabinet with some of our premium gear in there. This time running some uh, HANA checkers and HANA uh, salinity testers. We've got a Ecotec reef link, some wave pumps. Um, over here we've got the, the Coral Essentials range uh, alongside the Reef Revolution range. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, I can see some uh, Aquaforest, I can see some Red Sea gears, uh, some test kits, foods, supplements, quantums there. Um, looks like we've got uh, uh, the Blue Life range, uh, the Red Sea Aptasia Rex. You can see the uh, Blue Life resins. Um, we've got uh, Revive Coral Dip there. And uh, we've got uh, the Fish Tank TV, which we've seen at a couple other stores, but this time I couldn't help but uh, play with the dial. That one adjusts the intensity and that one adjusts the color, which is cool to see. But while I'm playing with this tank, I did want to just point out uh, a special little thing that this store's also got, and it's a bit of an exclusive, I will say, and that's that they've got a uh, coral room upstairs, just while uh, pan past the cat. We're going to head upstairs and have a look at this uh, coral room, and this is what the uh, pet quarters team have been working at, just to basically future-proof themselves, uh, make sure they've always got good stock on hand. You can imagine when you have six aquariums, if you get a weekend or a, or a month, at worst case, of bad weather, and uh, your coral suppliers cannot supply any coral. That's six stores that have nothing to sell and um, the bills don't go away. So if cash isn't coming in, they're in trouble. So basically this is their vault where uh, they're able to keep uh, some of their premium gear and uh, start to aquaculture some of the um, corals so that they've got a good healthy supply of corals for all of their stores. Obviously, they're still working very closely with each of their uh, suppliers and they're not exactly at the point where they're going to just self-supply um, corals, but they do have a nice little uh, backup bank here. And let me tell you, it's it's difficult to catch on camera, but have a look at those gonies. Some of the uh, pieces in here are just absolutely ridiculous. You can see why they are in the vault. And um, I kind of joked with the guys that it was a bit like gone in 60 seconds when... Um, uh, the rather wealthy gentleman goes into the Ferrari dealership and says that he's after a 1966 GTO and they say they don't have one on the showroom but they do have one in the vault. Well, have a look at these jawbreaker mushrooms. There's your 1966 GTO. Absolutely cracking pieces and they're slowly but surely uh, fragging them out. So we've got some beautiful Rhodactus there including some Bounce, um, a nice assortment of Zorox there which will surely um, populate quite quickly. Pop over and have a quick look at what we got on this side. You see, it's not just all the primo gear. We've also got um, some basic pieces too, like green star polyps, because again, they just want to have a good backup bank of pieces that they can roll out to stores should there be bad weather or trouble collecting corals, whatever it may be. We've got an assortment here from green star polyps to basic zoas and pallies, all the way up to jawbreakers and um, absolutely off the chart gonies. So. A novel approach in my opinion and uh, I'm really excited to say that uh, this was an exclusive where first people are allowed to go in here full stop but definitely the first people allowed to go in here with a camera so I hope you're appreciating the uh, the view and um, be sure to uh, let the pet quarters team know that uh, you want some of the corals out of their vault anyway guys that's about all I've got for today I hope you've enjoyed the video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it pop any comments or questions down below if you have them and uh, till next time guys thanks for watching keep reefing bye